что Лока готовится добить Лома. На экране мы видим, мы видим Илью Малкина. Основатель Новых Сторм Рэпсин Санкт-Петербург. Илья Малкин бросает вызов Ивану Маркову Локомотиву 12 ноября на юбилейной счет и опасной зоне. У них будет матч. commentating for Danger Zone 100, IWF Danger Zone 100, and in this next match have we got a treat for you. It is the returning Ilya Malkin against Locomotive. Now, this match is very special because these two competitors do have a history together. They have been through some hardcore wars against each other in the past. However, Ilya Malkin set up shop, if you will, in St. Petersburg. He moved away from Moscow, took a break from IWF to create St. Petersburg's very own wrestling promotion known as Northern Storm Wrestling, NSW. But tonight he returns against this man. This is... Locomotive! Ivan Markov, more commonly known as Locomotive, one of the most popular stars in Russian wrestling. And tonight you're going to find out why. A very capable competitor. Well-rounded. He can do the hardcore style, he can do the technical style. He's got the power moves and he's got the physique, let's face it. Big fan following here in IWF. Fans really appreciative of all the things that this man has done for not only IWF but Russian, Russian wrestling in general. But tonight, he faces a tough test. Tonight, he is against a returning Ilya Malkin. So now we await the entrance of his opponent. And you see the popularity of Locomotive. I mean, the fans take time and effort to do pieces of art bearing his image. And here comes his opponent, proudly representing his very own Northern Storm Wrestling, St. Petersburg-based Northern Storm Wrestling. Oh, mind games during the entrance. Look at the attire of Ilya Malkin. 
we're all familiar with the horror movie classic character Scream. There he is. He looks determined. He looks serious. He looks like he means business. A long time away from an IWF ring, but tonight a returning Ilya Malkin hopes to prove against Lokomotiv that he still belongs here, that he's just as effective in a Moscow ring than he is in a St. Petersburg ring. In an IWF ring or a Northern Storm ring, it doesn't matter. Ilya Malkin is ready for battle anywhere he goes. Determination in the eyes. This is a serious test. He does not underestimate his opponent. And how can you underestimate an opponent like Lokomotiv? Both these men dangerous. Both these men used to the hardcore style. They know what it takes to win. They know what it takes to overcome strong competition. Now it will be interesting to see here before this match begins. Do these men respect each other? Will they, will they adhere to a code of honor, if you will? They've been through battles against each other in the past. Now, do how, how with, with what mind frame do they remember those battles? Will we see a handshake here? Will we see a show of respect? Okay, these two are ready to go. Malkin, locomotive. I can't wait for this one. The fans in attendance, they're ready. Such seriousness in the eyes of Locomotive. Such seriousness in the eyes of Malkin. Okay. Show of respect, perhaps. Ladies and gentlemen, I spoke too soon. Absolutely no respect from Locomotive. And we're away. De loco bomb! Loco bomb! That's the loco bomb! That's one of his main go- that's one of his main go-to moves. Sorry, I almost lost my voice there. I was not expecting that so early in the match, but he only gets a two count. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> locomotive going for the big moves early. No need to waste time. Wrestlers don't get paid by the hour. Locomotive thinking, get this one over quickly. Welcome back to IWF, Ilya Malkin. And listen to the fans in attendance show their appreciation for this man. The Loco Bomb did the damage early. Ilya Malkin still trying to recover from that heavy, heavy drop. Clutching the back of his head. Wobbly legs here. And Locomotive just insulting him. Kick to the midsection, headlock. He's got that cinched in nice and tight. Referee making sure it's not a choke. Roll through by Locomotive. Oh, come on. I mean, it's one thing to flip the bird at your opponent, but to spit in his face. Such disrespect. Leap wrong, ineffective, knife edge chop, and a spit in Locomotive's face for good measure. Big boot! Big boot. Caught him right on the chin there. Malkin goes down. Okay, Malkin in trouble at the early stages of this match. Locomotive in control, feeling comfortable, but uh, he needs to make sure that he doesn't end underestimate Ilya Malkin. Ilya Malkin himself very capable. A grizzled veteran. He's seen it all, he's done it all. Not only a competitor, but of course, the founder of Northern Storm Wrestling. And, oh ho, ho trips him up. And chin to the turnbuckle. One, only a one count there. Misses the spin kick. Misses the forearm. Knee to the face of Locomotive. Ilya Malkin. No, he gets caught in a black hole slam. Such rotation on that maneuver. At this stage of the match, it seems like anything Ilya Malkin tries, Lokomotiv has scouted and he has an answer for it, but he misses a, misses a clothesline in the corner. Sidekick to the midsection. Oh! And an Enzagiri style kick. Wait a minute, what's he signaling for? Maybe a face wash? He calls this the Anna Karenina. Now I know what you're thinking. What has a classical literature 
novel by Leo Tolstoy got to do with wrestling? Well, let me entertain you because of course I like to educate as well as entertain. If you're so uncultured as to not know that she gets hit by a train at the end of the book, that's what happens. Anna Karenina gets hit by a train at the end of the book and when the locomotive hits you with the big boot in the corner, it's like getting hit by a train. Did you see that flipping somersault sent on to the outside of the ring? See, this is what I was talking about earlier. He's got the aerial maneuvers. He's a, he's a hybrid wrestler. He can do it all. Oh, what's this? Some chairs are coming into play here from under the ring. Locomotive's entourage setting up a little bit of furniture, doing some interior design here tonight at the IWF Arena. Ilya Malkin may be down, but he is certainly not out. He's still in this one. He realizes that this return to an IWF ring means the world to him, and he has to prove himself against an opponent the caliber, the quality of locomotive. They're both back in the ring now, knee to the face. It does not deter, it does not imbalance Ilya Malkin. He's still in this one. Spear! Huge spear. One, two. <sighs> Only a two count. Only a two count. Both of these fighters, both of these competitors have already taken significant damage. It'll be interesting to see where they go from here. What's their plan of attack at this stage of the match? Fatigue must be setting in. Fatigue as well as hurt, as well as pain. So how do these competitors change their game plan? Okay, referee counting the men down. Malkin back to his knees and a vicious elbow to the back of the head. Locomotive feeling that one. Head into the top turnbuckle. What has Ilya Malkin got planned here? Oh, let's not forget about that, uh, uh, that little bit of interior design that happened on the outside of the ring earlier on in this. Okay, this looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. I hope medical professionals are on hand in case anything happens. I mean, it, it's, it, you never want a wrestler to be injured. You never want a wrestler to take time off because of an injury. He says, wait a minute, no, 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 no. D Tornado DDT to the outside. Oh my God. Here we see some replays. Knee to the face. Shove to the outside. Somersault sent on over the top rope. Beautiful maneuvers being done earlier in this match, but now we are back to live action and those those chairs are, are really disconcerting. At any time they can come into play. It's such a dangerous structure. So many jagged edges. So many potential possibilities for injury if somebody goes through that setup. Both wrestlers, both men avoiding it successfully at this stage. Vicious shot to the face by Ilya Malkin. Such power and precision on that strike. Okay, he's going for the cover here. Only a two count. Only a two count. Locomotive clutching his face after that vicious strike on the outside of the ring that he received. Look at the six sadistic look in his eyes. It's like he's saying, hit me again, I don't care. Hit me again, I like it. Looks like he's going for a half Nelson. Half Nelson. Okay, he's got a half Nelson. I think he was going to try and turn it into a suplex, but look at that. Look at that beautiful, look at that intelligent block by Ilya Malkin. Elbows. Back elbow. Oh, half Nelson suplex from a rebound using the turnbuckles and an exploder overhead T-bone style suplex. Ilya Malkin with a German suplex of his own. Suplex is being exchanged. Back and forth, back and forth. 
Ilya Malkin is signalling for a face wash of his own. This could be the answer to the Anna Karenina that we saw earlier. <laughs> he stopped and oh my god, oh my god, just stomping strikes. And an Anna Karenina of his own. One, two, two counts. Adding insult to injury, when you're using your opponent's trademark maneuvers against him, it must be, uh, lo the locomotive must be infuriated at the moment. Oh my god, he just super kicked the referee. He caught him flush on the jaw. Kata! Malkin Kata! But there's nobody to count. One, two, oh, oh. Okay, kick out, but kick out of what? There's no referee. Okay, we need a new referee out here right now. There could be a potential winner in this match while the referee is down. IWF management needs to, need to sort something and sort something quickly. You can see the disbelief on Ilya Malkin's face. So what's going to happen now? We've got nobody to count the pinfall. We've got, no, we've got nobody to declare a winner. Referee is down, and I don't think he's getting up anytime soon. He took, he took a strong hit to the chin from that Ilya Malkin super kick. Punches him back to the outside of the ring. And I forgot to mention, I'm sure you've all noticed it, there seems to be a keyboard on the ring apron. I wonder how that's going to come into play. Locomotive climbing. The t Whoa! And the keys, the buttons, shatter. Ricocheting off the head of Locomotive. No, 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 no. Oh, God, no. Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Death Valley Driver through the construction of chairs. Okay, both men are down. Locomotive is in serious danger. Of... Okay, somebody check. Somebody... There's no one to check. There's no referee. So what, what's, what's going to happen now? Ilya Malkin has just gone through that, that crazy, painful structure of chairs. Nobody knows how this match is going to progress. Nobody knows who's going to get the upper hand here. Both men have taken so much punishment. Both men have gone through so much. But the, but the determination to win is still present in both of them. Look at these guys, they're, they're, on their, they're on their last breath. Flips the bird at Locomotive, slaps him in the face. Gets him back inside the ring. Referee is still down, but he's counting. Two and no! Only a two count again after that sick, sick, sick Death Valley driver from the ring apron to the outside of the ring through a stack of chairs how is locomotive still in this one but the fans are very happy that he is huge flying elbow flying forearm and an answer from locomotive a splash misses the big boot yeah reverse ddt final cut style maneuver but again, it's not enough to finish the job. It's not enough to put Ilya Malkin down for the three count. Loco, he is saying that's enough. He's had enough. It's time to go home. Time to get the victory. So what has he got planned? What more maneuvers? What, what, what other sort of sick game plan, sick attacks has Locomotive got planned against Ilya Malkin? He has already hit him with so much. We've seen the Anna Karenina. We've seen the um, Black Hole Slam. We've, we've, we've seen so much from both of these competitors, but they're both in this one. Maybe a sit-out powerbomb. Shaking the ring with that maneuver. And how did Ilya Malkin kick out? Two and seven eights right there. Uh, how much more has Ilya got left? Hey, hang on, who's this? What, what, are you, what are you doing? Who are these guys? Oh, come, the, the, okay. These are Northern Storm Wrestling competitors. These are Vegas and Reno. Okay, so what, what's happening now? Oh, this is ridiculous. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. Okay, I think 
I think this one has been declared a no contest. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Ruining a classic. Everybody wanted. Everybody wanted a winner. Yeah, I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope you're proud of yourselves. You've cheated the fans of of a, of a result here. You've cheated the fans of a winner. What's what's happening now? Double disqualification. No contest. This is not what anybody wanted. I hope you're proud of yourselves, Vegas and Reno. Ruining a classic. Ruining a viewing, viewing experience, not only for me, but for everybody in attendance and for everybody watching at home. Hang on a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Locomotive asking the fans for their opinion and approval. What's going to happen now? Okay, they're not getting out of the ring. Oh, ooh. Um, okay, I'm, I'm lost for words. I haven't been informed what's happening here. But I see a guitar in the ring. I see chairs in the ring. Yep, yep, yep. I've just got... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just got confirmation that this match will continue. It has been declared a hardcore rules match. We will have a winner this evening, no matter what. Vegas and Reno, your plan, your plan did not work. And the fans are excited about this one. This match continues. Now, there are hardcore rules. Under hardcore rules, Locomotive, Ilya Malkin, we will have a winner. Interference or not, this match will continue. It's chair versus chair in the center of the ring. Ilya Malkin, Locomotive, They've been through so much, they've given so much, they've taken so much, but they are ready for more. Chairs are down, exchanges of strikes, fists, elbows, forearms, Locomotive gets the early advantage, but Malkin gets him with a super kick. No effect, roaring elbow, oh, and the second super kick, well, that put Locomotive down, but only for a two count. We've seen so much already in this one. High risk maneuvers, brutal strikes, hardcore moments, crazy chair contraptions. To <laughs> Even at this stage of the match, complete disrespect from Locomotive. Once a hooligan, always a hooligan. No, wait, that's no, no three count. Foot on the rope. That's what you get from a veteran like Locomotive. He knows where he is at all times in that ring. Ring awareness is so important at this high level of competition. And Locomotive has it in abundance. He's been doing this for years. He's no rookie. He knows where he is in that ring and he knows how to use it. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, he just he throws it. It bounces off the forehead. The chair bounces off the forehead. Forehead of Ilya Malkin. Ah! Guitar shot! Guitar shot over the head! Pop up power bomb through the chair! Three! Three count! This one's over! This one is over! Finally! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner representing Northern Storm Wrestling NSW on his return to an IWF ring. Ilya Malkin! But what an effort by Locomotive. The fans are appreciative of the efforts of both these men. Guys, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this match. It has been a pleasure, it, and it's, it's, it's been genuine fun calling the action right here on Danger Zone 100. And finally, finally, when all is said and done, how can these two men not respect each other after everything they've been through? They may not like each other, but they have no choice but to respect each other. After a war like that, a war like we've just seen, I think a sign of respect after the match is not only appropriate, but it's something that needs to be done. Well done, Ilya Malkin. What a victory. What perseverance and determination. Never say die, never give up attitude. 
finally got the win using a pop-up power bomb through a chair. Guys, this one was difficult to watch at times. But my god, there's nowhere I'd rather be at the moment than Danger Zone 100. And Locomotive getting some much needed help and attention. You'll live to fight another day, my friend. Amazing effort, amazing performance. I hope, I hope Locomotive is, is okay, no serious injuries. I hope he just needs to rest it off and get back to action as soon as possible. Amazing competitor, amazing performance, but tonight just wasn't tonight. And here we see some replays of the amazing action. This was difficult to watch, this was scary. Such a rough landing on the on the jagged edges of the backs of those chairs. A huge sit-out power bomb here by a locomotive. It actually surprised me that this only got a two count. And then when the hardcore action started, we had guitar shots, we had chair shots. And of course the move that finished it all off, this wonderful, fluid pop-up power bomb through a chair. One, two, three. Ilya Malkin, your winner.